Hello everyone, welcome back to another Nintendo fan video. As you can see, I'm back here in Animal Crossing. I am in my fancy little outfit that I've fashioned kind of blue and white themed. Uh, I like it, I need to fix the shoes and the bell bottom pants could be better, but I think it's making good progress. And here's my room, <laughs> jumping right into this. I've added some shogi, shoji, uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, wallpapers, shoji screen, <laughs> sorry. And then some marine pop flooring, because I thought it looked nice. Over here I have a laptop, I've been fashioning kind of a just workspace area with a very expensive table and a very expensive laptop. And then the cuckoo clock there. I finally got a rattan bed as well, or a rattan bed. I'm, again, forgive me if I'm pronouncing this stuff wrong. I've got KK Groove playing in the background and a paper lantern. Other than that, I'm jumping into this. It's been uh, quite a while since I believe I sh last showed you guys my island officially. Of course, I did the fireworks display. And here are all my turnips again. <laughs> That's a lot of them. The newer areas over here where I have a TV playing as well as a grandfather clock with a plant in the background, which I think is nice. Other than that, I have K Imperial KK playing over there. It stayed mostly the same. Other than that, I have a bronze trophy from the HHJ, so I've gone up from the plaques to the trophies. And the room back there has stayed the same, so we're just going to jump into the kitchen, which has changed a lot again. Back into a normal kitchen because I was able to get a house upgrade. So you can see it's still kind of a work in progress, but right now I have some pot racks and a gas range and such. And then a system kitchen here with dishes and the clock. It was very expensive. <laughs> I had to spend a lot of money on it. But I think it's looking nice so far. I think with some more stuff in it, it'll become really good. Sorry if I'm going a bit rapid fire here, I just want to show you guys this stuff fairly quickly. So yeah, it's been a while since I've done my last Animal Crossing town video, so I just thought it would be good to show you guys. I think a lot has happened in my town recently. So yeah. So as you can see, now that I've gone, gone and gone upstairs, uh, I have an upstairs now. So this is my upper restaurant area. I have KK Marathon playing here, which I had... KK play by accident one week, but I think it sounds nice in here. I have the fireworks wall that was given to me for the update. And then this is my diner co corner. I have a little coffee on there and a box sofa and the clock and the rug. I think it looks nice. And then over here, I have the fancy area. There's the serving cart over there coming from the kitchen up here. And then, ooh, I need to fix that. If I move the velvet stool over one, then I can actually show you guys. I'll do it later, but for now, you can just imagine you can be sitting there and then you'll have the candlestick in the dining setting and it's just nice overall, I think. So yeah, I, I like it so far. I think it looks really good. Of course, it still needs work, but I think I've made good progress. So that's my house. Now going into actual island changes, uh, I think there's been a fair amount that I've done. It may not seem like a lot at first glance, but there's more than you would think. So first of all, this. I have actually moved the location of my house from up there into the area where I had Luna's bed since it didn't work. And I've customized it. I think it looks really nice. It's got like the orange color scheme as well as a chalet kind of design. And I just think it looks nice. I've got a cocoa tree back there as well as a wooden mailbox. And then a little, my director's chair is still here with a magic kit on the square table. And this has been separated, kind of, I've added a little land on the third floor just to kind of separate it. Again, I still need to work on that, but you can move through the pathway here to open up here. Now going here, you can see I still have my money trees, I still have the Zen garden, I need to work on that. But I've added bamboo, so I kind of cut off the river so that I could put my bamboo trees here. And I just narrowed it down to five because I don't think I need that much in general. And that is because... I have filled out the entire area in preparation for all of the different types of trees. Uh, Jen Mills, which you may know from the hide and seek video in Animal Crossing, has actually given me oranges, which I really appreciate. And so you can't tell right now, but these are orange trees. And then these are my apples. I have pears back there and coconuts. So now I still need 
cherries and peaches, which I have laid out space for here with these four rows. So yeah, I have enough space for it now, which is nice. Jumping right into here, you can see I've engineered a pathway to get that way. We have some fencing, the campsite is the same, but I've been experimenting with fencing around this area because I think it's starting to look nice. I just like, I don't want to cut off too many areas, but I think I can start to do this if I move rocks or such, um, just to preparate, <laughs> just for preparations. I think it would be, I can start cutting off some areas that are not necessary as long as I get the rocks out of there and such. So yeah, I started to add fencing here. This is pretty much the same, except I found a throwback rocket and I wanted to make a little shrine to it. So that's there now, uh, which I think is great. I like that. You can see it in the background. We've also added some music playing, which is Welcome Horizons, because I thought it fit well into those shops. So yeah, still got the lakes here. I've been adding the fencing. It's cut off here. Moving up here. You can see I've added two of the inclines now. So I paid off the stone incline and this natural one. I have yet to pay off this one, but I believe when I sell my turnips this time, I will pay off that one. I've also added kind of a little stand-up area here with a marimba. I'm not sure if you can hear it. And then some studio spotlights and a little mic, because I think it'd be cool for the people sitting here kind of in the cafe to be watching someone play some music. Uh, I've also added a fan here just to keep them cool in the summer. So I just think that was cool. I put that in there just for some fun. I also need some more outdoor furniture if I want my island to get to full of stars. I haven't really been going for that, but now I am. I have a deer scare here that I made and then two of the bamboo grass as well. I need one more piece of rope to fully flush that out so that I have the rope wherever I want it pretty much. But other than that, it's made some good work, good progress. In my town hall, you can see it is pretty much the same leaf as here. I am still missing the yellow windflower. The hunt for that continues. But it's been going pretty well. You can see I've been... St it's still kind of my flower breeding grounds. I've been forgetting to water them a lot, but I still have the space prepared for them. More of the fencing back there. So I... I don't know. It's just... A lot of flowers. This is kind of where I've been containing them. And then I've been working on some fencing here too as well. I am eventually going to replace this log bridge because I think it's annoying. It's just kind of tiring to have. I, I just don't like the design of it. So I will be replacing that with something else. But I have other plans for bridges and such. Like you can see one going to kind of my orchard and my house area. And one going up to my zen garden. And of course I need to pay off the one with the museum. So those are my higher priorities right now. These houses have pretty much stayed the same. Barbara has moved in in case... I haven't spoken about that before, so she replaced Daisy, or Daisy? I don't know. I don't remember her name, honestly, but yeah, she is a sheep instead of the cow I had before. I do remember that about the villager, and I really like her. She is a, if I remember correctly, snooty villager, and I do like her better than Cleo, so Cleo is now on my move out list. Because I like Barbara better and her house is excellent. So yeah, Eggly's here. Chow, I haven't been able to get, move out, get moved out yet. I still have Kid, of course. And then Cleo's there, she'll be moved out. Tybalt needs to be moved out. And then Marina and Axel are here as well. So yeah, I mean, that's a lot of the stuff that's been going on with my island. I haven't really been working on this area yet. Just because I don't have that many ideas. And I want to perfect the other areas first. But... I will eventually start to work on these. Oh, we got a balloon. And, yeah, I don't know. Just I also have a lot of flowers here. I really need to control the flowers and just kind of tame this area before I do anything else, really. But we'll look on my map for a second to show you guys all the residents. A lot of it has stayed the same, but I have more stuff in the museum area. You can see with the bridges, or the inclines. And then the houses have stayed the same. Except, of course, we now have Barbara, the sheep. My house has, of course, moved back there. And then there's a lot more dirt. It's all cultivated there because of the orchard. So, I mean, that's good. I've made good progress on my island, I think. 
gotten someone to move out that I didn't really like. I don't know. I just think good progress has been made. I know that that's okay. We're going to check that just because I don't know what we've earned. That's oh, I did I. Interesting. Why was that given to me just now? Nothing makes a smart happier. I guess she's just got to use it a lot. Okay, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on my update of my island. I will be coming out with another Fall Guys video soon. You guys seem to like that video just based on the reception I got. So I'll be doing another video on that probably Friday. But other than that, again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day.